Coming to match number one, EJ Mars and Andrew Cole. Okay, everyone, thanks for joining us once again on Matt One. We are back with our next bout. We will have PJ Barch taking on Cade Rotolo. 77 kilograms, Jake, has been one of the most intriguing and thrilling brackets of the entire event. Absolutely. Cade Rotolo has looked absolutely impressive the entire day, and PJ Barge is coming off of a huge upset victory, a very clean upset victory over the reigning champ, JT Torres. Yeah, he's so scoring a beautiful, beautiful, clean takedown, which at ADCC qualifies for four points. Sorry, Jacob's got fired up thinking about it. Beautiful. And this is actually a rematch uh, twice over now from first North American Trials where Cade uh, bested PJ in the semifinals, and they met again at an EBI combat event with Cade ending that match with a buggy choke. But PJ has looked flawless, to, as you mentioned, taking out the returning champ, JT Torres. How do you think this one might go down? Man, I think it's gonna come down to the strategy of PJ Barch to deal with the unorthodox style of Cade Rotolo. We saw Cade Rotolo snatching submissions from everywhere, submitting Lachlan Giles um, very quickly with an arm bar. And PJ Barch, like you said, has looked locked down uh, from you know, falling short at the West Coast Trials to being invited to ADCC. Now he finds himself here on the finals day in the semifinal. Yeah, not to mention PJ also was able to, to take out the Viking Tommy Langacker in his first round by three points. And as uh, we mentioned a little bit in the broadcast yesterday, Barch has put a, a big emphasis on strategy and tactics coming into this. And it hasn't slowed down his game at all, but he's much more aware of how to, to utilize the ADC score, scoring system to his own benefit. Absolutely. Someone who's no stranger to strategy, Cade Rotolo. I imagine both of these guys have game plan for each other last night. You know, the fighters did have a whole day to prepare for their first round matchup here on Mount One. Our other semifinal in 77 kilograms features Dante Leon versus Mika Galvao. And they will set the stage for our final later this evening. In the corner of Cade Ruotolo is namely Mike Perez, who was the head of a lot of the wrestling training over down there at Atos Jiu-Jitsu HQ, one of the heads of the, uh, of the wrestling program down there. And also, uh, strangely, AJ Akazarn. Yeah, AJ ran a lot of his ADCC camp at Atos. And Ty Ruotolo, no surprise to see him make a chair either. And we're right into things here. Aggressive start, no surprise to see PJ eager to engage in a little bit of a wrestling. Much more orthodox style than Cade Ruotolo, but that's what makes this fun. Cade really shuffles from side to side as well. You never know what, uh, what he's doing or what he's thinking. PJ much more traditional in his stance. Yeah, Cade has got to be one of the most difficult athletes to game plan for. You mentioned game plans and strat and tactics, but... Oh, big single leg from Cade Ruotolo. Just so aggressive. He's been described by a lot of fans as a, a little more, I don't want to use the word reckless, I'll say more aggressive, aggressively submission oriented than his brother Ty. Something that's pretty hard to do, <laughs> I would say. Oh, and PJ showing a little bit. I imagine PJ might be the physically stronger of the two. Look at Cade baiting the shot, opening his arms wide. Once again, and on a single leg. And this match on the betting odds this morning was so close. Initially, the betting odds were plus 100 for PJ and minus 150, or 155 for Cade Rotolo. So they're really borderline dead even as far as the fans and those betting online are concerned. It's a very, yeah, you mentioned that, Chase. It's very interesting. He's opening his arms wide, really baiting the shot in. One of Cade's and Ty's biggest weapons is their Darce choke. 
They even walked out in the opening ceremony and did the, the Darce choke hand symbol. The Phantom Darce. The Phantom Darce. You know PJ's thinking about taking the bait. He's looking at that. When do I shoot? What's going to happen? Absolutely. And while Kate has been very quick on these single attempts of his own, it looks like PJ's unfazed by them. You gotta think, for both athletes, there's a measured level of caution when it comes to shooting for a takedown. If you're KA, you shoot, you get sprawled on and possibly your back taken. Or put in a guillotine, and PJ Barge, the dart stroke is not far away at any time. Nice foot sweep there from PJ, back on the neck, hanging on the head here in his little headlock action. Kay finds a way out though, but nice look from PJ Barch there. Oh, definitely now running PJ oh, out of ouch. bounds is Cade Rotolo. That looked like a painful landing in the concrete. They landed both knees hard on the concrete just now. It's one thing about ADCC, the mats are not where the action ends as long as there is action. You just saw earlier Wagner Roach and Lucas Barbosa go possibly in the middle margin between us and the fans here. Almost lots of TV. One minute until points come into effect in this match. Remember the first half of every ADCC match, regardless of the length. There are no points scored in the second half is when points come into effect. Down from Cade. It was definitely a slam dunk level of snap down <laughs> that Cade just threw on top on PJ Barge. Just 10 seconds now until we see points come into effect, and you have to think a flurry may be in store as these guys start to try and put some points on the board here. I agree, Chase. It's been a very measured approach thus far, but now points are in effect. Once again, snatching a single leg, rocking, locking a rear naked choke grip on the single leg. A lot of Autos competitors really love to have that grip orientation whenever they go for the single leg to put pressure more down on the quad. Oh, no. going for the double now, but counter from PJ Barch. Oh, and now PJ possibly looking. Looked for a second like he was thinking about throwing his leg over for that arm bar. Gotta love the tenacity of Cade not wanting to accept position there, right back to his feet. PJ, great timing there in the counter. You see Cade, as soon as that, uh, that scramble was kind of broken up, he was right in PJ's face, eyeing him down. You see Ty Rotolo in the corner of Kate Rotolo yelling at his brother, standing up and screaming at him. That made a lot of passion between those two. Oh, a single leg from P.J. Barch now. Trying to go around to the back. So they're going to reset it here. This is the key moment for P.J. Barch. He's in a great position now. Oh, 
Oh, beautiful! Transition to put the hooks in, using his free foot to open up some space. And once again, that's a very interesting hook on the leg there, Chase. Yeah, really breaking down Cade's base, sliding that foot out. Cade looking to kind of sit out there, but almost a risky maneuver. PJ Barch still hanging on to your life. Yeah, Cade once again looking for the sit out. P.J. Barge looking to put his left hook in now. He's got one hook in. And he's very high over the top now of Cade. Cade pulling down on the head, hoping he can pull P.J. down. You almost wonder if P.J. was looking to potentially go for the Sulawav stretch. Josh Cisneros was used and popularized. Oh, he's going oh, for the, the other hook. Maybe the back. Cade immediately extracts the hook. That was very close. PJ still hunting for it. PJ Bart just tenacious though right now. Oh, but Cade shoulder to the mats. Big stiff arm from Cade Rotolo. Once again, forced in a turtle position. Two minutes left. Oh, and there's the sit out from Cade Rotolo reversing the position. Back up on the feet and a sit out for PJ Barch to return. Oh, is Kate on oh. an arm? Is Kate on? No, he's not. He's not chasing the leg. Oh, and he oh, is in the arm. arm. He's back on it. That's oh it. Kate Rotolo submits PJ Barch here and punches his ticket to the final. What a transition. What a scramble. He was in such a tough spot. PJ Barch. Oh. And there it is! Backflip celebration. Whew. That was insane. Cade Ruotolo, here's a replay, Chase. There's Cade Ruotolo with the fanfare.